Good morning, everyone. I'm artist Claire Stokolosa. I got this goodie package of art supplies. I wanted to get some nice acrylic paint. I, w I do a lot of watercolor, and I also work in oils and acrylic. And I use different brands, but I did a little research online. I watched some YouTube videos to, uh, just to see what other artists liked using and uh, comparisons of brands. And I just decided to go with the golden for now. I do use other brands, but I just went and I stayed with the same brand I ordered online from Dick Blick. Because there was a sale and I got a gift certificate as a gift. And then I went crazy and bought more. I, I, it was so much fun. I'm doing a series of portraits and I just wanted some nice quality paints. So I bought uh, certain colors. I went with the series one. You can ask for that or just you want it to be as pure as possible when you buy the paint without a lot of additives so that it holds up nicely and it has rich color. You know what you like to paint with if you've been using them. And I'm just showing you my products now so I'm not going to show you take out the paint and show it to you. So <laughs> if you're waiting for that, it's not going to be in this video. But anyway, I just want to show you my goodies. I want to mention I stayed with basic colors. So I got my yellow okra. Actually, here's my list. So I bought some basic colors and I went with a uh, lizard and crimson. For the main colors, I got the big tubes, you know, because I know I'm going to use them. I got my cadmium red medium. And they're all series one. Most, as I mentioned, I got the larger tube. I'm going to be working a lot with them. Yellow okra, kind of a permanent color. It's nice for mixing in. For my blues, ultramarine and cerulean, which is here somewhere. I got the cerulean. I did get burnt umber, you know, just the classic browns and burnt sienna and raw sienna and raw umber. So I mentioned the yellows. I got a Naples yellow, which I like to use. I got the yellow okra. I think I bought a nice lemony yellow too. I'm, I'm gonna look for that and show it to you. My titanium white. I have a lot of white, but I, I just got an extra tube from my ultramarine and my cerulean blue. I can't wait to use these. I'm just showing you boxes and rattling off names. For certain colors, I bought some smaller. So I got the Hansa yellow opaque. So it's just, kind of a brighter yellow, you know, like a lemon yellow. So I thought I'd go with that, but I did buy the smaller tube of that. I'm going through the box now if you hear the noise here. So I have the Naples yellow. I did get free shipping, so I bought a lot. And sometimes, you know, there's a promotion, but there's always some kind of promotion going on in the store, whether it's free shipping. The paints were on sale, so I was really lucky. So if you let me, you know, stock up on them because I was going to buy them sooner or later. And you know, we're all looking to buy stuff. I try not to buy online, but I splurged. I splurged. I went wild. I actually bought this uh, gel medium. I usually don't use, I just use water, but I figured I'd use it as an extender. So I'm gonna try it. I, I really don't use this, so I'll have to report back on it. And I did some research on it before I did purchase it. I'm giving one to someone, so I have to put two. And if you could see this here, I don't know how old this thing is. And you could see all the splatters. I just painted on it so I can wash that up. But I wanted a, a surface to protect my desktop. I really like this and I just had it forever. It's a, like a cutting board with a ruler on it, which is really handy. And I have some in my studio and I have some in my home studio. And I actually called to get some help with a product that I couldn't find online. And I did purchase, I think I mentioned, I showed you the card I did get it through. Dick Blick. And they're all over the nation, but there are quite a few stores in New York, so you can go there or just order online, which I did. I asked the woman, I said, oh, I have the product name, and I told her, and she shared with me that they went out of business, that Alvin went out of business, and they went out a year ago in March, and that they went out the first week of the pandemic really early March. I remember in New York here, it was like the 14th when it really hit March 14th and it's almost a year now. And she explained that they called all their suppliers. So I guess the art supply stores and when the store called back, they couldn't even get all that they wanted because they were shut down within a week. And it's just like so many stores and so many suppliers are being affected by this. A lot of small art stores have closed 
used, but it's really nice is Blick has been family owned and I actually got a little history about that store with my purchase, which was really nice to read about. So it was kind of interesting to see it was started. I'll read it to you. It says uh, it's owned by Bob Buckshbum. CEO of Blick Art Materials and his grandfather bought it. Robert Metzenberg purchased it from actually Dick Blick, which it's named after, in 1947. So this store has been around for a very long time and I hope it lasts for a very long time. So it's nice to get this little note. Let's show you a picture of it. It was really nice to get some information about the store that it's still surviving. So I thought I'd share that. I just had so much fun purchasing something. I haven't been buying things online or going crazy, but when I buy my art supplies, it's like candy going into a candy store. And so I, uh, I'll let you know how these paints work out. And I really don't know, I just call this like a cutting surface or like a cutting board. It's not really, it doesn't cut, but uh, you know, for, it's good to protect the surfaces when you're using a matte knife or exacto knife, which was used a lot in the old days when we did a lot of mechanical paste ups. Now everything is done on the computer. So a little blast from the past, but still very usable. Um, just wanted to say hello, let you know about what's going on. Write me a little note in after the video. You just scroll down and leave a little note on YouTube. I'd love to hear from you. Happy painting, have fun, and stay safe. Bye.